you are invited to watch the summary of Friends short film and movie. So like any film you want and enjoy! Ah. Ah. ah, this is a good one, isn't it, girls? It sure is, Sophie! I know what we can do today. Shannon, can you please get up? Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit tired this morning. So, um, how are you, Mr. Plush? Oh, I'm fine, thank you, Sophie. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. You are Henry in real life, aren't you? Yes, um, I'm Chris's toy. And, um, Hedges isn't operating, isn't he? He isn't even in the movie. <laughs> Silly me. What am I like? Uh, okay, girls. We've been through 26 episodes of Still Your Friends. And now, we're here. You mean, what if we haven't been through all 26 episodes? That's my only worry. Oh, oh, don't be so worried, Shannon. Everything will be absolutely fine. Besides, it's a girl's dream to get successful grades after all. Y you really think so, Sophie? I mean, it's not going to be that easy if we're ever going to get past this evil mistress. And, um, what are we doing? This is, um, Chris's house, as far as I can imagine, because, um, um, we couldn't afford to get any money to get to my house. Why? Oh, as a director. Director guy, um, is there any particular reason why we don't have enough any of that budget to get into the other houses? Because it's the only house we actually ever found. Okay, suit yourself. Right, girls. You ready to get up? Well, possibly. Uh, I, I'm more than ready. I'll see you there. Come on, Rachel. Uh, it's time to get up. Don't want to get up. Uh, it could be dangerous out there. Unless we venture through, what circumstances can we get through? Ah, oh, I think you're right. I better go through anyway. You know, girls, it's a lovely day outside. Well, so it seems to be, Sophie. I know what we could do. We can explore around the house and that. Yeah, that would be a great idea. But it couldn't be just a, a movie without any sort of villain. Oh, I am here, all right. <gasps> <gasps> Who are you? I am Mistress Old Eye. <laughs> you know me from the first time I saw you with that boy and Chris. Yes, we got the picture. And we also know that I, Mistress Old Eye, have somehow been divided by that. Boy, idiot. He's not an idiot. He's a cute boy who just has a little bit of misunderstanding. He is a very, well, charming man. In that case, that's your opinion. But what the real plan is, I, Mistress Eldai, have hidden some random invisible things around the whole room. If you manage to find all of them, You'll gain access to the computer room in Chris's home. And I'll be there for the quiz. You didn't have to spoil it, do you? No. But I suppose I will be waiting there for the quiz. Where I'll be giving you some random trivia knowledge about me. Yes. It'll possibly be the first one. But I don't know how many um, trivia questions I'm going to ask you, but, um, cheerio! Girls, girls, girls! What is it? It's something about Mistress Old Eye. Well, I must have spoiled it. Sorry, girls. You didn't have to say that, Shannon, but oh well. 
in any aspects, what we're going to do today is we're going to search around the whole house. But bearing in mind, we are going to need to be a little bit quick. Quick? I love being quick and that, so, um, yeah. Um, what if we are a bit slow? We're not going to be slow. We're just going to actually take our time. Which is partially a bit slow, so, oh, I will take your point. You ready, girls? Just in a bit of warm up and stretches. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that idea. Okay. And say the front of the horse around, and there we go. Well, on wide awake. Ready, girls, for a Sophia friend short movie together? Um, yes, I am. <laughs> Me too. Then let's go. <sighs> wow, so cool! Yes, Rachel, it is quite cool. But what we need to do is we're going to need to find the clues in order to actually access the computer room where Mr. Soldier is going to give us a trivia quiz later. <laughs> I don't enjoy Mr. Soldai. She is a weird old hag. Like a witch. <laughs> I think Rachel does have a point. I do know why. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, girls. Now, hands together for everything we need. We just need to go and take our hands together as if we're best friendships forever. But what we need to know is we need to find all the clues. So girls, if you scan around, we'll do this together and search for all the clues, we'll gain access to her area, okay? Right, Adib! Right, um, where's the first clue? I think it's found in um, Chris's parents' room. Okay. Now, somewhere in here, we need to find something very, very cool, okay? So, we just need the trivia things. Now, as you know, the trivia pieces actually count as pieces of information we have done throughout the whole series. Now, girls, Rachel and Shannon, if you manage, if we all manage to find all the clues, that's all done. So, there's possibly just one clue in every area, okay? Okay! So, where can you find the first clue? Oh, I think I know what the first clue is. <laughs> no, no. Socks? <laughs> that can't be right. Rachel, can you have a check? Well, I might have checked and there might have been pants. Shannon, go and check. Sure, I'm quite a brainy leader. There we go. There's some ties. And I think an invisible piece of the first clue that will lead to whatever Mistress Aldi is getting up to. Brilliant work, girls. We have found the first clue, and now we're going to need to move on to the next room, because there's plenty more rooms to explore. Is there one in Chris's room? Um, well, let's go and check anyway, because, um, there's got bound to be a room where there's about to be areas and stuff. Now, right here, where can you find the first clue in, well, the second clue, since we found the first one in, uh, Mum and Dad's bedroom. I know it is! Good thinking, Rachel! Can't find it. <laughs> Found the second clue. Brilliant work. Now, um, we need to check the other rooms. Does it apply to cupboards? No, Rachel, it doesn't apply to cupboards, actually. Okay. So, um, which one should we try next? Um, the bathroom or the, um, the guest room? I guess the guest room. Oh, it looks pretty dark in here. 
Do you find an exclo in here? Look at all the stuffed animals there. It's quite dark. I know, but if we go find it, we'll do so. Hey, I finally found it. Ta-da! Found the next clue. It's quite a dark place, but we better get out of here. Some monster might leap out against us. So, um... Where next? It's a shower? <laughs> it's quite wet out there, isn't it? Yes! Wait, there's a bin there. Are you sure that's actually quite hygienic? We have to wash our hands afterwards. Oh, don't worry, the director guy will do it for you. Don't spoil it! Sorry! There we go! Got it! <laughs> yes, as Rachel just says, there we go, got it! <laughs> now, it's his room next. What should we do? Explore! Yeah, good idea. Ah, uh, yes! It's the pillow of interestment. So, girls, if we're gonna go in, we need to go in. Ha! <laughs> That's the next clue! Better get out of here. He might return back. So, out of all the clues we have so far, Shannon, can you figure out how many clues we found? Well, we found one in his parents' bedroom, we found one in his room, which he lent us the room for the whole day, or possibly the whole week as he's away, or possibly the director's currently here on his own, on his own but it's absolutely fine. Mark has us too. The third one is in the guest room, which we've been in there just a moment ago, as well as the bathroom, so that's four clues. The final room is that his room is there, and as a result, that's that. So that's five clues upstairs. Why well, better we more clues downstairs. Come on girls, let's do it. You see that? It's quite interesting now. What's this random catalogue? No idea. Hey! That area might actually give us a clue! What? <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Sophie! Thanks, Rachel! Right, so we now found the sixth clue, which is in the Great Hall, and upstairs, because um, the upstairs does count as the Great Hall, so oh well, that doesn't really matter. Now, let's find the seventh clue, okay? If you had to ask, I have no intention whatsoever. You don't? No! Just follow me. The dining room's full of mess! But where should we go? Chris's lunchbox, I think. Good thinking, Rachel. Yes! Another clue! I found another clue! Brilliant work, Rachel. Now, Let's go together into the kitchen and see what else we can find. Hmm. The toaster. The washing machine. The sink. Or the bin. Because this one actually has a multiple choice of four. So, if we don't want that in the bin, because that's already been checked in the bin, the toaster might be interesting, but I don't know why. And the sink, which I am... Um, doesn't really account for nothing, so, um, I bet that's a clue in the, another area, so, um, yeah. So, um, where's the next clue? Um, well, the bin 
was found in the bathroom. And the sink may be located in the cloakroom. So, my only obvious guess, as it appears the washing machine could be useful, is we're going to need to place something inside. So, girls, if we go inside this machine, we might find something very useful. It's too dark. Yes, Rachel, I know it's dark. But what we need to know is we're going to need to explore around the machine. Now, see these left turns and these right turns? Yes? What we want to do, girls, is we're going to need to turn the dial right, as you meant, the right, okay? So if we turn the dial right, okay, we will be able to let out the next thing, because here, the toaster is there, and as you know, it could lead to something more interesting. So, if we do this together, the thing will be done. I don't think I'm going to enjoy this. Not unless you try it. Here it goes. <laughs> oh my, that was fun. I want to go again. <laughs> not, not again, Sophie. I don't think that's a great option. All right, Shannon, if you insist. is we've seen another clue. From the machine, we turn it around once as fast as possible, applying enough force, and there we got it out of a toaster. <laughs> Genius! So, we found five upstairs, we found one in the great hall, we found one in the kitchen and the dining room, which makes eight. What else is there? The phone! The phone? Oh! I think that might be a clue there. Rachel, if you wouldn't mind going out, you're quite sociable. Okay. <laughs> Hello everyone, what do you want? Would you like a clue, please? Clue, eh? Hmm, that's going to be pretty tricky to handle. Right, okay. I'm just going to go and check in the drawers and find that clue for you. As soon as I find it out, I'm going to shut out of that phone, okay? And I'll uh, that go. Is that good enough? Yes! Okay, right, I'm going to go have a check in the drawers. <laughs> right, so it's not in drawer one, it's not in drawer two, and it's um, not in drawer three. So, um, no draw four, no draw five, no seven, eight, no, 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 no. So how many draws are there? I, I, I guess I might be around about 100. I'll check 100 draws. It's still even there. Well, not even there. Unless I go and check the area that is draw 101. Yes! It's uh, an area between life and death! That's it! I'm gonna go and get it. Yes. Aha! There we go! There's the clue for you! I'm gonna shoot out of your phone now! Wow! It's another clue! Thank you very much! You're welcome! If I can't thank you enough. Bye, girls! Beep. Right, so... We got one from the door, which is the main hall. The next one is the dining room, as well as the kitchen, which makes eight. And we got nine clues so far. So, what's left? Cloakroom. Good idea, Shannon. So, as we know, we've already seen it. So, if we just... Use the sink, that'll be useful. Ah, 
nice aroma for smell of the room nice fragrance as well <laughs> yeah we don't need to make it too girly because uh, it's a uh, yes it's um just us we're girls oh sorry I um, completely misread that right so what we need to do here is we're going to need to apply the water force so if we press it and turn it with the correct area we might tilt it in the right way and that might let out the next glue okay so if we press this soap bar thing and the water with enough force that thing will actually recognise that it goes through the toilet but actually is cleaner and gets through out of the toilet roll from the bin unexpectedly there's actually a closed bin which I have no idea what on earth is used for. So girls, up to it? Yes, but let's do it together! <laughs> enough force. Oh, sorry, wrong way. I think that's enough force. Enough force. Wow. Wow, that's the tenth clue we found. And I think we also found the eleventh clue somewhere, which is just inside one of Chris's shoes. But there are only two options. Either it's the right one or the wrong one. But according to my intelligence, I think the as we've seen right so far, I think we're going to try the left one. Go ahead, it's your risk. <laughs> yes, I found a clue. I think that shoe doesn't even bother giving a sign. But what we see here is we're going to go outside. Outside? Are you sure? Yes, girls! Venturing outside is the only option to true success. So if we go outside together, the only way we're going to do this is we're going to explore outside. What we explored is five things upstairs, but we have also explored another six things downstairs because we explored the door, well, the main hall, as you may have recognised. Um, the, the seventh one is, um, uh, what was it? Uh, it's, um, the um, dining room and the kitchen is eight, and um, the family is nine, and, um, um, the club room is ten, and, um, the hall is eleven. Great! So, I guess that we literally have just a few more clues. Now, I think we're just going to take a little rest because um, 11 is quite a good number. Mr. Soldier certainly has a lot of clues of us. So, girls, as we know, the sun is beginning to shine outside. You may think so? Yes, Rachel. If you see something from the outside, the only way of finding the next few clues is explore the great outdoors. Well, I suppose we'll do that. Follow ourselves or something. So clue number 12 must be somewhere, but as you know, there is something very familiar. But this is the right one. Um, the garage. Good thinking, Rachel. Your intelligence is improving. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. Now, if we check the kitchen, which we've already done, this one is a fridge but in the garage. See here, if we turn it all the way up to, well, possibly the maximum number, it may give us a, a clue. Let's do it, goat. <laughs> yes, there's another clue. Except we don't need to spin this time because there are already two balls there. <laughs> Quickly! 
fun. It was allowed fun, wasn't it, Sophie? Yes, Shannon, it was allowed fun. Now, <sighs> quite dangerous outside, isn't it? Ta-da! Look at that! It's the great outdoors. Wow. But what can we find in there? We just need to explore one time. And if we explore around the whole garden, we might find a clue right there. Because as you can know, the clue is exactly where it is. But it's locked in a cage. So the only way it's possible is we're gonna go whiz around. So come on girls. <laughs> yes, the clue is automatically found. What? Yeah. There we go. Locked. As just in case. What's he doing? He's wiping his shoes, Rachel. Wiping his shoes. Do not want to make mucky portraits. So, as we can see, that we've already checked the areas because, um, one from the area is found and apparently I actually found another clue just before we actually went inside because another clue is actually already found and given to us <laughs> well done but seriously we must get a move on because Mistress Old Eye is going to give us a trivia quiz so we must get a move on and we must hurry so um Ready? Always! Right, okay girls, this is the last bit before we enter Mistress Old Eye's area. Do you know where it is? TV! Well that's the final clue done. Easy as pie. Right girls! The final place in this house is the computer room, apart from the attic. <sighs> Alright, none of this. So, the attic has also given us a clue, I believe, because it's already given. So, where is Mistress Old Eye? Mistress Old Eye, your evil mistress. <laughs> Just get on with the trivia quiz already. Oh, you wouldn't like to be so rude to me, Sophie. And you know, Rachel and Shannon, I know that you two could be the losers of this drink. As soon as you lose the quiz, I will fire my boredom ball at both of you! That won't happen! Trust me, it will. I'm going to give you three questions of this trivia quiz, and should you get all the questions right, you will win. And as you know, I will still fire the boredom ball at you, but you have a chance, because I will fire slower. But, if you get one question wrong, I will automatically throw the bottom of at you, and you will join me as my instrument. <laughs> so, girls, ready? Always! Right, right. So, now, uh, let's just start with Shannon, because we're just going backwards. Shannon, here is your first, well, here's the question. The first question is just for you. And I'm going to think... Hmm. What's my name? D 
that's my question. Messes all day. Correct. Rachel, second question. Hmm. Name the rest of my cast. Um, well, there's you, of course, duh. There's also, um, Master Aldi, and, um, um, and there's all the, um, uh, Mrs. Aldi minions, which we haven't uh, yet seen. So, um, I don't know what we're gonna do with any things or something. Uh, I'll give you the answer. But the last question is gonna be for you, Sophie. And, boy, is it gonna be the worst question ever. I was born ready. In that case, your final question is... If you know that what happened back in the uh, late 90s, when I was actually this young, if you haven't seen any uh, videos, then um, you must watch my videos. Come on, Mr. Soda, it should be popular! And, um, you must, uh, watch all Sophie and Fraser episodes for the past 26 episodes. So, as you know, but I have appeared in up to around about 12 episodes in all. But, the final question in your truly eyes only is, how did I became Mistress Alday? <laughs> Too easy. The answer is quite simple. The answer is in fact that when you did education schools in September 1997, well, um, my, um, well, before I was born, I remember that you decided to make an experiment. But, and it says that I planted on your head by a cold explosion, well, my miracle parents have done it. For any such reason, even my mum did it. But, when that happened, you became evil ever since, and disrespect rolled the world. So, it just goes to show that once you became evil, you decided to turn against us, because we decide that you know, you think I am very smart. So, that's why you became Mr. Soldier. Unbelievable! You got it right! Oh well, you leave me no choice. I'm just gonna fire it slower. But, if one of you gets it, you'll all join me as the Simmons. <laughs> Goodbye, Sophia friends. <laughs> You girls won. No, you girls won. If you think the half an hour movie isn't enough, but I think I'll be back for even more, ma'am. Very much so the indoors. Mostly indoors anyway. Ah, oh, whatever. You win anyway. Go red girls. I will be back for revenge! 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 <laughs> Great job, girls! We got all the information that we have done, and at least we won! Yay! We can do anything! And we can still relax! Do you know what, girls? I think it's a great idea if we relax in the computer room for the rest of the day. Yeah! <laughs> so we have friends! Good morning, girls. Good morning. You know, I'm 
think after all that effort, we deserve a lovely break. And what a lovely break we had. I think we're going to go on a nice adventure about university. What university, Sophie? Well, Rachel, university is a much higher educational level in which we have to pass through it in order to get graduated. Well, Angie seems quite simple, really. Yes, Rachel, of course, it's going to take a lot of effort to do this. As rightly said by Shannon, we're hopefully able to get somewhere. And, yes, we're going to cheat by Eugene again. We're hopefully be able to win our hearts and graduate from university. You mean we're going to have to escape from university? Yes, Rachel. I mean, what else can we need? So, all we need to do um, is just get out of here and hopefully see the light of day we're just going to sit there because we're currently in the university so first of all us, we need someone that will keep an eye on everything Arrgh, hey girls I am Mr. Kleiterbert and here for this university edition as well and here is your task all you have to do is save the girls, horror. But to do so, you're gonna have to find the clues again. But be warned, Mistress Odai is on the warpath this time. So, if you try and find all the clues, get outside and find the rest of the clues who were behind this, then come back here with your little Mihati battle. And then, when the battle is over, I shall graduate you. So, girls, have you any idea how you should do this? Well, Mr. Casabot, I never realised you actually went to university beforehand. But the question I'm going to ask you is, when we are in university, what else are we going to do? So, I remember what you said, but we have to rescue the girls, because they're being trapped somewhere. And Mistress Oldie is on the warpath this time to try and completely destroy us, because of the battle we did time and time before. So, therefore, we are going to have to find all the clues again and try and stop all the other minions from trying to obliterate the shops, which means turning the whole world into a total boredom area. Exactly! When you hopefully win this battle, I shall graduate you, as I just said. So, if you find the other two girls and defeat Mistress Old Eye and all the other minions, you are free to leave. Oh, you have to use what's so missed. I have no idea what Mr. Catterbird said that time, but I suppose that we're just going to have to take it as it comes. Yes, of course, Sophie. So, all we have to do is find the other two girls that we usually sometimes meet at Pigwood Wickham High School and bring them here so we can all get graduated. I mean, I'm sure we must have done all the exams by now. <laughs> Except it's different. If we get a move on and hopefully find through this, we'll be able to simply get a straight A answer to leave university. So it's similarity to gridlock. I don't know what gridlock is, uh, no, Sophie. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to get out of here in no time. What Shannon said. Come on, girls, let's go! Um... You have failed me again. <laughs> <laughs>
but Mrs. Oday has the answer to do so. What we're going to do is try and obliterate all the shots so we can roll the road. <laughs> now, to do so, the way it's going to happen, total boredom world. My world, my way. <laughs> In order to do so, you must, must stop those girls in each of those shops. There's one inside, well, literally outside some sort of cost color shop. Another one is, um, Wait, Please. And the last one is the Not Cooperating Shop. So you guys got that? Yes! Good. Now I should know, Mistress Oldai will be able to keep eyes and eyes around this. And we must make sure that the girls fail the graduation at university. You know, I prefer a bit of a sandwich. And I prefer to read a book. Stop whining, you two. Master Oldai must take you two, and as soon as Mrs. Oldie rules the area, the girls will fail graduation and will have to do cause every single thing as I say. <laughs> Your evil life's getting a bit irritating. Yeah, I'm afraid some sort of, um, ho ho ho, similarity to Father Christmas. Ah, you know, I might as well ship you to, um, I don't know, um, I don't know, military school. Yes, military school. So that uh, you two will be as bad as me. Not on, I take those two guys and make sure to go every shop. Oh, and by the way, you use some invisibility cards we've got the cheap by the chain. We'll do that, Mistress Old Eye. <sighs> I really hope I won't be your mother. We we'll do. <laughs> well, in that case, I might as well fail, so it's not really my problem. Mistress Old Eye has the eyes set on it. When the plan is complete, Mistress Old Eye will rule the area. And I, Mrs. Oldie, shall roll! Yes! When Mrs. Oldie rules the whole area, I hope that when those girls fail graduation, my world will be complete with total boredom servants. And if they want to be me again, I shall be able to think of the most dastardly, most sinister, evil plan ever. Those girls that I might as well capture it will never be safe. Try all you like, Sophie and friends. There is absolutely no chance you'll defeat the wrath of Mistress Oldie. <laughs> <laughs> right, girls. So as before, we need to find the clues. Start with the parents' room. No. There's the first clue. Brilliant, Shannon. Rachel, there's actually more than one clue here. You might find a pair of hands. We checked in there earlier. Just look inside. It's just a piece of some boy's pants. And there's the next clue. That counts too so far. So, there we go. We just need to find one more clue. You should, you certainly has found a clue, Shannon. Rachel, you also found another clue, so all I need to do is find a clue. And I think it could be hidden in one of these drawers. Obvious answer. Brilliant, that's three clues found here. 
Now, gals, the next thing we need to check out is his room. Again, we need to find three clues inside. <laughs> you guys actually had a lot of common sense that time. Where do I have to find these three clues anyway? Now, girls, be careful in this room. We must be very, very careful. You sure we're allowed to go inside? It may be a bit dangerous, but overcome your fears, it will be absolutely fine. Well shared, Shannon. We must be very careful. There's one inside the radio. One inside the pillow. And one inside his wardrobe. Right. Now that's done, we shall investigate the bathroom. Oh, this room first, if preferred. You said the bathroom first. It will be preferably better. Okay then. So, which one should we use? Hot or cold? Hot water. I agree with Shannon. Oh. Hang on. Brilliant. Now, the next part of this must be somewhere. Next clue found? Now to find the last clue. Hmm. Ah, just hanging by the window. Yeah. Right, let's find the clues in the guest room. Okay, there's one under one bed. One found in the sink. And uh, one found by um, the um, radio station 04 um, part. And that concludes this room. All well, these rooms are around here somewhere, so um, we we'll probably need to, um, need to phone this time. So we'll check the other cloakroom in that. Right, girls, do you know which one is better? Um, I suppose it's the hot water again. Wrong! It's actually the cold water we want. Brilliant! That's another one. Which one is better? More hygienic? So, um, I guess it might be the, um, well, um, the other bin or something. I think Rachel has a point, you know. Well, let's see. Brilliant thinking, girls. And obviously the last one must be right behind this brown towel. Okay, the next area must be around here somewhere. What are these doing here? Um, they're probably special offers or something. But what if we can find one of them in there? Good thinking, girls! We remember the last time we had to knock something off the post to get one clue. Well, let's see if we can find three clues inside. <laughs> ah, here we are! <laughs> yeah. Brilliant! Three clues found! Now, girls, the ultimate test is nigh. We have to find the next few clues around here. And as a result, we must get on with it. There's one behind the TV or something. I suppose we can look through that. Well, let's see. Brilliant 
of thinking, Rachel. <laughs> I try. She is getting a bit more genius over me, I think. But that doesn't really matter. We all have the same ability. Hmm. Somehow, Chris has left a lot of clothes there. I'm by her mum, I suppose. His mum. Sorry, pronunciation is a bit wrong. That's okay. Okay, let's just have a look where it is. So, um, next clue could be, um, behind this green sock. Yes, that's the next clue. So, let's find the final clue from here. Um, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Ah, I think I know the answer. There we go, that's the last clue from here. The computer room may remain last. Remember last time when Mistress Aldi was there? Yes? It remembers that she's going to try and do something about it. But we have no idea what her evil plan or scheme will be. So, okay girls, let's take a short moment of what we're going to do. What is it, Sophie? We're going to try and find some of the free clues that are found here, okay? This is going to be a bit tricky here, so what we must do is we're going to try and find the next free clues, okay? It's not going to be easy, but I'm assuring you that it will be absolutely fine. So the next clue must be somewhere, right? Correct! So, I'm going to find one myself, and I bet it's that washing machine. Yeah! Ugh. Yes, that's one clue to me. Rachel, go find one. Okay, Sophie! Hmm. Decisions, decisions. So we all done the machine. There's also another one. Somewhere in the pot. Brilliant! That's another clue. Find the next clue, Sophie. Brilliant, Rachel. Shannon, go find the last clue here. Okie dokie. Okay, since it appears we have a few taps here, um, well, I remember when we got upstairs, there's obviously one clue that has to involve hot water. The next clue that's also to do with water is doing with cold. So, hot means upstairs and cold means downstairs. So I think we're going to use cold water. If I can open it. Brilliant! I found it! All three clues found, Sophie! Brilliant! Now, the next clues are going to be found in this rather messy dining room. Why can Chris tidy that up? <sighs> Let's just ignore that and just carry on what we're doing. So, find the next three clues from here, okay? And I know which one. It's definitely one in the lunchbox, so I found one. Rachel, go find one. Okay. Just ignore that. There we go. That's the next clue I found, Sophie. Brilliant, Rachel. Shannon, there's only one more clue found. I think that black shoe box over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit tight. Oh no. But oh no. Oh my word. Oh, that's so much difficult, isn't it? Right. Right, okay. Shoot. 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 Darn. Drat. Ah. Sorry about the words used there. That's okay, Shannon. It's just a very messy area. It's also known as a kids-friendly movie to help you educate through. Never thought I would ever say those words before, Sophie. 
Just ignore that, Shannon. So, the majority of the rooms have actually been done. So we have done the upstairs, and we also done the majority of the downstairs. So the one thing we must do now is to enter outside. And outside? Yes, girls. If we want to impress Mr. Cattenbird, we need to venture outside. And that does mean we're going to have to rest there and put our shoes on. girls, that's enough relaxing, we must venture outside! Now, we must find three clues here. Go find one. <sighs> Stuck. There's one between the flowers. And look, there's a clue right outside there. Local neighbour might have said hi. Ah. Good work, Rachel. We found the next one. Shannon, there's only one more clue that can be found. Ah. Brilliant work, Rachel. Well, Shannon, thanks very much. Okay, now we need to find three clues from here. And I know just the one. There we go. That's the next clue. Rachel, find the next clue. You could go in on your own. It's much better. Wow. Spinning around three times is much better than before. Shannon, all you have to do now is find that last clue from here. Okay, Sophie. Hmm. This is a bit of a random conundrum going on here. So, um, in order to open the freezer, we must be able to do so. So, yeah. That, that, and that. And that, that, that. Let's find that there. Oh, golly, how is this frozen? Gosh. Oh, I hate doing this. Oh, no, no. My word, that is cold. It's okay, it's pretty frozen out there. If we go outside now, that will be the last three clues before we enter the room. Well, I suppose that is a good idea, Sophie. So, um, three clues are found there, three clues are found also there. So the obvious answer must be found there. Actually opening. I don't think so. It's stuck. I think we'll leave the director guy to do this. Took 20 seconds to even unlock this door. 
Yeah, talk about a really heavy door. He's always blasted his hands out. Right, the last three clues from here must be found somewhere, so all we have to do is to get round there. So, we can't use this area because it wants to grow some grass. So, let's find three clues in the garden. So, there's three pots. One small, one medium, one large. So I think it could be the large one in the middle. Yes, found the clue. Rachel, go find one in a bunch of flying insects. <sighs> I hate flying insects. Nobody enjoys them. Some might overcome them. I'm not that bothered about flying insects. Well, that's easy for you to say. And I know where the last one is. Right behind these bushes. It's a bit of a maze, but I'm gonna have to do it. Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Ah. That was a close one, wasn't it? Too close, actually. Well, I think that's all the clues from the garden. But let's just go walk back inside and hopefully we'll be able to relax. But relaxing isn't going to be likely for long. These doors are pretty tough nowadays. So tough, I don't think that's even going to be suitable for living in here anymore. Well, that's all the arborites we sorted. The only thing we have to do now is to visit the computer room, where Mr. Solday usually is. It's time to get a move on with what we need to do next. And that is where we're going to do it. Oh, a bit tight from here, isn't it? Ah. Oh, no. Now, these three clues are the hardest three clues to find from here. After this, we must, must, must get a move on, because we can't mess around. Well, I suppose it could be pretty tough, if you ask me. These rather old clues may date back to a few years ago, or several years ago, to be answered. You do realise that, um... The slaughter family must have been um, living in um, this other way close in one of those houses for 20 years straight. Maybe he could have done the house tour vlog or something, but otherwise he's a director guy. So, these are really hard clues. Now, Shannon, I want you to find one. Make sure you bring one to me and be quick because we will not have much time. Mr. Soldai can destroy the area any minute now. Okay, this is going to be pretty tricky. Mm. No, not this one. It's obviously not going to be that. Ugh. Oh no, this is pretty hard, isn't it? Ah, oh, shipped spiderwebs. There's obviously the hardest clues to find. Right, in I go. Oh, oh no. Oh, ow. Oh my. Ow. Oh. Ow. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Yeah. Yes, found the first clue! Found the first clue, Sophie! Brilliant! Rachel, go find the next clue! 
Well, if you say so, Sophie. <laughs> right, okay, so there's obviously one clue there. There's a next clue somewhere. So this is going to be much trickier. Here I go. Oh, my. Ah. What about this thing needs to be done with it? Oh. Maybe it's some sort of um, ceiling smack or something? Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Yes! Found the next clue! Sophie, I found the next clue! Right! Now it's my turn to find the ultimate clue. Hmm. Right, so there's a computer right there. Major Saldai was there last time. But they could obviously be found in all the other ones. Somehow it's going to be pretty tricky to get through this. The only other way I'm going to have to try and do so is to get through this. Hmm, there's a random thing going on inside. If I go inside one of these, I can actually find my way out. So, um, here we go. Okay, we're going through these areas. It's amazing, I had to go through everywhere or something, I don't even know. Yeah, pretty interesting if you ask me. Uh, let's go for one bookcase, and another bookcase, and then the next bookcase, and then the next bookcase, and then the next bookcase, and then the final bookcase. There must be one of these inside. I think the very top book could actually lead me to somewhere. Brilliant! Now I'm at the top. Very invisible now. If I can reach this light switch. Uh, yeah! Ugh. Big leap of faith. Oh! Mini skill. Oh, a card. Nice. Uh. Right, okay. So, um, obviously, I need to, um, just smack the screen. Ah! Ging ging. Yes. Right, girls. I think we have found all the clues from here, and I think that's all. Now we have found all the clues from here, I think it's high time we better get going. Because they want to raid the shops, so we need to hurry up. All we have to do is feed every single clue, which includes Chris's room, parents' room, Matthew's room, um, well, his brother's room, um, the, um bathroom, the um, guest room, all the other things from there. Um, downstairs we've got um, cloak room, kitchen, dining room, sitting room, computer room, main area front door and all the other clues from the outside in the garage and painfully the outside also. So um, yep, I think that's done. We'll just feed all the clues from there. Oh dear, speech stuck. There we go. 
Now, to wait for the result. Yes! Access is absolutely granted for us! Now we must get going! You know, it's going to be pretty tricky once again now one of these areas. Yeah, I agree with um, Shannon over there. If we get out of here now, the only way we got to get back is to be saved. Come on, girls! To the adventure! <gasps> girls we got to find the rest of those clues these clues can be anywhere Hey look! It's some sort of random board! Random board? Uh, yes, Rachel! There's a random board! And it says some sort of, um, random signs on there. So, um, if we rearrange them... You can now read! Okay, it does say now... It says... To find the first one, it's similar to the small shop where there's usually the post office one. The second one is in Rain's Breeze, and the final one is in, um, um, in the not cooperating shop. So, afterwards, you'll then have to um, um, whiz around the whole area and get back as soon as we can before we get caught by Mistress Oldie. Better get a move on though. We don't have much time. We need to get graduated beforehand. Any particular reason why we're running now? Well, possibly um with exercise. You did say we're running out of time. That's not I meant the time. I meant we need to get going. Well, we better get going fast, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get to the end. So if we just hurry up, we might as well reach the end sooner. And he's slowing down. Remember your use crossings, girls! Well, it's a good crossing there, and all that. It's awfully quiet at the moment. Not many people around. Well, so far, Sophie, we don't have many people around. The only exception is we need to find it all in these three shops we are going to find.
We need to take the next bottom down. The next one could be located over there. So as we go. Look both ways. Do not get run over. All clear. Let's go. Anyway, we managed to get past the first one. Boris Old Eye is one of Mistress Old Eye's children. We got to be careful what comes around the next corner. So why is he invisible? No idea. Keep silent. These other guys could be anywhere. You're playing in the background. Oh dear. Where the pitch is all around. But gotta go on the hunt quickly. Oh, ice cream. Ice cream. Wait. Ice means cold and can turn into a total boredom area. We have to be careful now. If we make the wrong move, we need to be careful. But because the public are around, we just have to walk around. Good point. We don't need to run, we just simply have to walk. They're only just going to catch you. Well, slower. All eleven combinations completed. You are now free to see this woman. What woman? Oh, I grat an old eye. What do you want? We're here to get the clues. Well, if you want the clues, you just have to walk past me. Pretty lame. You just walk fast walking or something. Well, I don't know. You might as well see that. You never catch, I'm afraid, so um, I'm going to look the way. Oh, really? The only option is the remedy in the area. That was so quiet. Oh! You got me, and I'll see you back. Take the stupid clothes. Mr. Zonga's gonna get mad! Whew. That 
time was much riskier than they imagined. Keep still quiet though, Mistress Aldai could still see us. The last place we have to find is the knock-up operation shop. Be still quiet though. These other people are still servanted or something. Why servanted? Rachel, it's completely simple. Mr. Sardai might have already done so in the first place. My own old eyeballs had them in the first place. Oh, I see. I'm going some construction going on over there. That's pretty loud. <laughs> Both ways again. Now this one's going to be much harder to find. Now where is Master Old Eye? <laughs> Hello, are you Master Old Eye? You have to, well, simply get past me again. What was that time? What size explosions? Come on, let's just do it anyway. <laughs> the problem is with size explosions is that you'll never see anything going around there. <laughs> we need to get him. <laughs> Come on! Ooh. Ah. Hmm. Oh, there's some sort of coffee station. Fancy a coffee? I don't know how to do. Okay, so we chose um, an alphabetical order: Americano, um, black tea, um, um, um. So it's caf, cappuccino, chocolate, espresso. <laughs> Mocha, hot water, oh no, sorry, hot water, mocha, whitey! Oh, oh you got me, girls. When I come back, Master Old Eye shall return. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So they said, I don't know whether it says go to the recycling one, but okay. Now we got all these, right? Yep. All we need to do now is to feed it to the bins. These rusty old bins? Yes. Interestingly, one of those is rogue, which means it will not unlock. You have to get this exactly right, girls, otherwise we will not pass university. That sounds pretty harsh if you ask me, Sophie. Yes, Rachel, I know. Okay, so, you see these bins, right? These are bins that have been taken to the tip every week or some sort. So, if we throw them correctly, 
will be down. So, um, I'm sure this one for certain is a rogue one, so, yeah. So it must be, um, this one first. And then that one next. And finally, that one there. Access granted. You may feel free to whiz around the whole area. Be able to unlock house as soon as you whiz around the whole area just beyond this Pestwood Junior School. Come on, let's do that quickly. Mistress Old, I could be around any minute. Take the shortcut. Okay, Rachel. Very quiet. This is how I can still hear us. She can still hear us through our CCTV cameras and all that. It's not similarity to a security camera program, is it? No. Well, sort of, but not quite. More construction work. Maybe they're just trying to turn into the old eye area. We don't need to cross anymore. It's only going to be short anyway. Just look around. I wonder if it's just safe. Well, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be safe. But it's probably not going to be any danger at all, isn't it, Sophie? Yep. I think, in my opinion, we're just going to be absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the other villains. For the villains we have faced since the Sophia Friends franchise. Quick, let's do what we do. They're gonna shoot us. <laughs> <laughs> The only way to stop them is to find a trap. Trap? Don't want me my trap. Just follow my lead. If we find a trap somewhere, we could try somewhere near Password Junior School. And if we do that, we must be able to get through it. We're not going on beyond our reach now. I wonder if the score's still open. It might still be open, so we can lure the villains in. Brilliant! The only way to leave them in is to lure them into a trap! Brilliant idea, Shannon! But what's the best place to do it? Mm. This probably won't be that one. And it probably won't be that one either. So obviously, the only way that can happen is use this one over there. Come on, quickly and quietly. Right, villains, do you want to get us? Come and get us. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Bullseye. Now the villains are getting tortured by those teachers. <laughs> wow, smart thinking of us, by the way. Yes, I know. Pretty soon we have to get it back because Mrs. Oldie could destroy us any minute now. Any minute? Oh, I don't like the words. Any minute now. It's so scary. So frightening. So mysteriously scary. But if we keep quiet, maybe Mr. Soldier won't notice us. Good point. 
We'll just walk, as if we're just an average go. Both ways. Look both ways. We've been gridlocked. Don't worry, we'll be able to get out of here soon. Hey, she was right. Well, she is right. Because we have just crossed the road. Well, back to town over and done with. We're getting closer to home. Or university, if it's cheap budgie team. We need to get graduated soon. Because Mr. Isolde is expected to fail us. You mean fail us? Yes, fail us. Is there any way we need to speed up or something? Good point. We need to get faster and faster before we get the end. Come on, girls. Hurry up! <sighs> Shortcuts and roads. No way we can get past. Keep going, girls. We're almost there. Why are we running just now? Rachel, it's because we need to hurry up before Mr. Zaldi catches us for real and she wants to turn every shop in her total boarding area. The good thing is, we have deactivated it and that may be the reason why we're here in the first place. We must keep going now, otherwise we're doomed. Just keep quiet for this lane. One more crosses the cow, girls, and that's it. <laughs> Quickly. 
run to the house. Might get into the house any minute now. Let's do the director guy do the orders. No, wasn't very long at all. Had good fun though. Sorry? Had good fun though. <laughs> well, after all that, I think we are safe. Come on girls. A nice, relaxing rest. <sighs> yes, a lovely, lovely rest. <sighs> you know, I think for once we could be in the clear. I mean, literally nothing can go wrong on this day. Due to the fact we are, well, here and all that. And I know we are going to be around for some time. Literally, we are around to be expected to be seen. Whatever comes around this corner, will come around this corner. Oh, hello girls. Expected to find me again. Ready for graduation. Mrs. Old Eye, what do you want? All this time, my eye, Mrs. Old Eye has ever been here. Do you know you defeated all these other guys? Yes? Then I know that you have somehow defeated my children and of course Bart Odai. The children known as Boris Odai and Gretchen Odai and my children. Are you ready for the other villains? Including some big villain and bigger some party animals villain. Um, more evil villains including the old eye turkey and of course my new mistress old eye Adam itself Jake Mac Evil no nice senior junior old eye so you see these defeated ones right there I miss old eye I'm going to try and stop you with all might. Now, Mrs. Old Eye has the opportunity to rule the area. And now, because of this, I shall revive them one by one. Let new girls attack in each one. I'm still going to prepare for my own invasion. Now, if I fire it all, they will still come back to life. Have fun, little bit of girls. Have fun, baby. Mm -hmm. Miss Walker, what's the witch? Ah, what? Ha ha! Stay alive! You want to defeat us? Well, you can't. Hey, what? Ow! Great work, Rachel. Oh! <laughs> Ow! 
Oh. Brilliant. What's the next one? So, girls versus girls, I see. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, yeah. Oh. One down. One of three, actually. Um, nah. Is it going to be the same process or something? Maybe this is all that doesn't have enough budgeting to make it more expensive. Wow. Oh. Right. Shannon, you brainy boiler. Come here. I'm going to stop you if it's going to get my brainiacs in a twist. Wow. Now, what's the final one? Master Odai, how created something else? How do you know why I, Master Odai, shall destroy you? <laughs> Behold, Master Odai's doom button. Right. <whistles> oh. Stupid Sophie. Right. Now, to do my next invention. The Doom Disco Ball. <laughs> Prepare to be doomed, Master Aldai. What? Oh. Right, Master Aldai has one more chance. I don't know what that means. Destroy us again. Obviously the odds, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Behold, the smashing book flyer. Ow. What? No. Really? How? Well, that's the least of our worries. Right, girls, see you decided to defeat all of them in this blast. I, Mr. Zanai, shall make the ultimate doom. The ultimate blast that will take a few weeks to acquire. <laughs> see defeat me now. All right, Mrs. O'Day, fire. <laughs> You can do this. This should help a couple of gear of arm. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. O'Day. You better give up hope. You want to battle Disco? You got this, I was one. You can't defeat me again. Well, this is how I shall destroy them. Um, look, Chris. What is the capital of England? London. <laughs> wow. You know, I think I am on my third last one. <laughs> May that increase the tower and maybe that will increase the intensity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question anyway. Let's make a hard one. How many, um, what's it, people who have remembered to vote out of the European Union of the cartoon area? Probably more than 50 million. <sighs> 
just wow! Drat! I shall make another one. Guess I'm just gonna happen to make it even harder. Right? Okay. Here comes the ultimate question that you'll probably never get. <laughs> They obviously done Chris's Tracker's Red Tracker's Rhythm of Adventures, and I've done all the Chris's Rhythm episodes, which consists of 60 of them. Also, if you remember that anyone would see that there was a lot of old eye beds, a lot of um, old eye party animals, and all that, and every single thing, including Senior Junior Old Eye, and lots of these characters, including Gretchen Old Eye, Boris Old Eye, Martha Old Eye, and all these other villains, including that. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna destroy every one of you. Prepare for your ultimate doom. You do realise that um Aaron and Lucy are still inside your bot. Whatever. As you I have remembered, you are gonna be defeated. I'm gonna destroy it fast with this super mega wacker infinity version of my total boredom. Eyeball! Oh dear, the eyeballs are not so powerful. It will destroy a lot of you, and you will most definitely become my servant. Plus, you will never see the light of day again, as you will have failed. You never did. We'll see about that. Come on, girls, huddle together. Now die. What? You think we got the power? Well, we most definitely have! And you know what you don't have? Courage to defeat us! Uh-oh! You know what, girls? You pass! I'm out of here! And as soon as Mrs. I get out of here soon enough, I shall return! You might have successfully won, but one of these days, Mr. Zoldai will team up with all the other villains, and I shall have the ultimate revenge! <laughs> Glad that's over. Yeah, surely was over. I wonder who's here. Congratulations, girls! You managed to successfully pass the score area! Hey! Girls! You arrived! Where's your half? We've been trapped in Mistress Old Eye's area for a long time! Whether since you arrived in university! Well, I'm glad I'm happy. <laughs> yes, me at You girls have got yourselves! <laughs> Graduation certificates! You girls are free to leave! Yay! You know, I think I've learned something fun today. I think the more we work, the more friends you get. That smart thinking, Shannon, will hopefully become the best people ever! Come on, girls! Let's get out of the house and have some fun! Yay! <laughs>